Hello friends, welcome to Roy Tech Blog. Today we will see about this error. Could not create a list field for the query. Verify that you can connect to data source and your query syntax is correct. This type of error, let's uh, try to first generate. First, I have created a SP store procedure and it is a simple store procedure which will fetch three uh, fields and uh, we are using a uh, CTE common table expression and we are trying to fetch these three columns ok and I will try to fetch that query the store procedure in the uh, uh, SSRS that this will be DST PRD data source will be DST PRB instead of here I will use this store feature I will here the products uh, I have given the SP name as a products and when I will try to fetch this the field I can see the error is generated same error is being generated so we will debug this where is the problem now if you see the query here English product name and French product category name the allies name are given same product category product category it is a I can say in bug in SSMS that generally it will not throw error with the same column name if you are passing from the product uh, from the store procedure so we will rename it we will rename it to something like French product name and we will execute it now all the three distinct columns are passing this type of errors we are fetch, uh, getting while uh, in the large data set or la, uh, maximum number of columns are we are uh, coming out from the query sometimes we miss this type of uh, columns now we refresh the field now we can see all the query fields are coming correctly Okay, this side does not exist. I have taken the example before this. I have to give the data set name as a product. Product category. Friends product category. Now, we will run it. Now, you can see the output is coming correctly. So, this is the way you can resolve the issue. Thank you for watching.